you niggas, man, y'all niggas can't never say I don't love OSG. And I know normally I try and start these off with like some type of intro, like welcome back to, but man, listen. And this shit didn't even really take me that long. It, uh, I want to say at most, it took me like, it took me like an hour and a half, maybe two. And I'm talking about like at, at, at total. Because what happened was I recorded um, the final episode. Because if I don't, as y'all, well, I mean, y'all don't know, but, well, I mean, I guess y'all do. But I'm stuttering like shit. Okay, listen. I, I, Cause I don't remember if I said in the last video or not. But in the last video, I fucking um, I figured out that we were that we only had one more mission left, and this is the last one. So and obviously, I mean, y'all seen you know like we're up to date. You guys didn't miss anything. The only thing I didn't do on camera, like I normally don't do, is like the extra shit. So I did everything like the the little pop ups and shit on the map, all the little side missions, and uh, I got all of the hell shrines. And basically, what those do is they give you a higher per a higher percent chance to like light somebody on fire, whenever your face meter uh, gets full. And I, I guess that that was something that we could already do. And like I said, I've done all of this before, like because I, I like I had to re-record this because the last video I recorded for some reason it just didn't have any audio. And I, I checked twice. I checked after I recorded, and I just checked now. So the audio is good. Hopefully, hopefully y'all will be able to hear me. But it just I don't know. So, with that being said, I had to do, I had to re-record. I started this off saying, y'all niggas can't say I don't love OSG. Because when I, I was gonna fucking, I was just gonna like reload a save, right? But you have to have like a, um, like an actual save file type shit. And I, I just, I guess this, this is just young nigga privilege. Because older people probably have to worry about, like, worried about shit like this when they played video games. But I never really worried about actually saving a game. Because it always had autosave. Except for like, Dead Rising 2. But even that, that was like a feature of that game because you got to run to the bathroom to save it. But when I beat the game, the only thing that was popping up was the past autosave slot. And it was after the smiley cat thing. So there was nothing for me to load. So as you can see, I have a save now. And I have a, and I'm, I mean, I'm dating it, but I mean, I don't give a fuck. Y'all know. But yeah, it didn't take me that long in between like doing like having to restart everything i just skipped the cutscenes but with that being said you niggas can't never say i don't love y'all because i was thinking about just uploading it with no audio and i mean i don't really know if people are watching this and by the way when i say no audio you really just couldn't hear me talking and it wasn't because i was talking too low my 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 mic just like i don't know it was connected but it just it just didn't pick up on what on what i was saying so i don't know it does that sometimes and i, I guess it's because the mic is old so i gotta get another one but yeah, redid everything. We back. We about to do the final mission. And um, something that I touched on in the last video, and I I, I want to speak on it again, just because I, I don't like I feel like it would be it would be weird just to like get into the whole like stupid jokes about whatever I'm gonna talk about and not talk about something serious that's been ha that just happened so. I want to give my prayers and condolences to all six of those people that lost their lives in Nashville. That shit is fucking. That shit is horrible. That shit is that shit is fucking horrible to me. To where, um, something that I that I spoke that I spoke on in the last video that the audio didn't pick up, and basically my point when saying what I said in the last video was a, uh, or in the one that I. I that didn't get recorded was I was just saying that like it's just it's just kind of shitty that all of these places that are supposed to be safe spaces and that you're not supposed to necessarily worry about something happening something's happening there it's horrible to where you can't even send your child to school and not have to and like you have to worry like it's one thing worrying about them on the way to school and on the way from school yeah anything can happen there that's the outside world it's crazy people everywhere but it's like you can't even you can't even send your child off to go learn, and I mean, I'm not the biggest school fan, but I don't think that that means that they should be shot up. I just, I don't know, man. I'm not a politician. I'm not the smartest guy in the room. I don't really even think I'm that smart, but I feel like we get to the point in the world where it just needs to be a lot more metal detectors in places. If you like, if you niggas don't want to get rid of the guns, cause that like, it's just it don't seem like niggas want to do that, and I guess that's fine, right? Not not to segue from that to gun control obviously i'm not saying it's fine to keep your guns because that's how situations like this happen and i honestly if you were to ask me i think we should just get rid of all of them from keeping it a buck with you but 
these niggas don't want to do that. So it's like, why can't there be some type of middle ground? Why is there not metal detectors? Why is it like seeing the security camera footage of that shit? That person should have, should not have. It, and I, I get I get that they shot out the windows, but there should have been more in place to where like that that isn't just the way to get into school to where you could just shoot out a fucking window and now my kid's life is in danger. You feel me? Like these are the places where you're sending your child to every day. Like not for nothing, I feel like these schools should be like like Fort Knox, damn near like and I don't mean on some like and I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the person passing laws, obviously, but I just feel like it should be more like stuff in place to where things like this can't happen. And everywhere, but I feel like and something that I said, and I don't want to keep talking about this because it, it, it didn't get recorded, but there was a Gideon quote, and I'm, I'm not necessarily quoting him word for word, so please go watch his stream if it's still up and see if you can hear the quote for yourself, but it was something along the lines of, like, I get that, like, there everybody needs to have their rights, everybody needs to feel seen and protected and heard, but the main thing we need to focus on right now is the children's rights and the children's safety and then we can get to everything else because the children are our future and not to sound too corny or nothing like that but I, it's just scary to where like dog i can't send my kid to school i can't go to my job I'm like because there were people that there there were people that were uh, staff members i got murdered too it was three children and three staff members it's like i can't go do my job and i can't i can't be a nine-year-old at school because some fucking loser is is a loser because some loser is a loser like that that's some loser shit that's like that that's some weirdo shit i'm gonna keep it a buck with you and like be clear when i say loser and weirdo i'm like i, I seen the reports and i seen that it was a person that was trans and i'm not even when i say weirdo i'm not even talking about that i'm talking because like y'all know my stance on that type of shit i don't care what you what you do with your body and your sexual orientation as long as you're not doing weird things like this like violating children so when i say weirdo i'm not even talking about her personal life. I'm talking about you're a weirdo because you decided to harm children. This is some weirdo terroristic shit. I don't even know if terroristic is a word, but I just wanted to touch on that. And again, I wanted to send my prayers and condolences to the, to everybody that was affected by that mass shooting out in in in, uh, in Nashville. It's I don't know, man. It's it's it's, it's scary outside. It's ugly outside, man. It's, it's fucking bad out here. Stupid priest, you can't defeat us. The gates of hell no. have opened. Yeah, that's that's really all I have to say about that. Now, and maybe in in a little bit more lighthearted of news. Um, it's about time you got here. I hope that that's not an insensitive segue. I'm not trying to be. This really is calm. what revenge looks like, Shen. I have a thousand years of dead soldiers at my command. I'm not trying to be insensitive. Or Son of you killed me I once. Just, they won't do it again. You know, like, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know how to edit these, so I kind of just have to like. Like, if I speak on uncomfortable things like that, it has to be that, and then I have to find a, a, a way to segue into something else. And I'm not laughing at the situation, obviously. I'm laughing at me being awkward at speaking. Now, I just seen... This is, this is my segue. Um, I just seen this clip of this dude and I guess he was at this um because that this isn't even where I was gonna go honestly I've Your seen two funny things waits for you in hell way Shen come with me say hello this is the second nigga who said his sister's in hell so I'm kind of thinking that, that that might be a fact but it's two lawsuit stories that are funny so I wanna and we gonna we gonna talk about them both so the first one is that I guess some fucking dumbass idiot nigga in van <laughs> i'm only talking crazy about this nigga right because uh, let me let me tell you why so 
he he's he's fucking I guess at the the the, the fucking Vegas committee board or the, the fucking Vegas town hall meeting or some shit, some shit like that I don't know nigga he, he's somewhere doing some shit in Vegas well obviously he's in Vegas I, I keep saying that he's in Vegas right and I guess he went out there for like a um like a work meeting or some shit like that like a work conference and the nigga he lost all his money now his story his story I ain't gonna lie his story is crazy it's sick to me that this niggas like you out like that this niggas like him out there just really living shit like this because he went out there for a work retreat or not for like a, a work meeting work work something something involving his job right which again that's not the sick part meetings in vegas meetings in the casino right fine whatever the sick part is that the nigga get into his story and he like yeah so they they they're feeding you alcohol and they just make it so easy there's a the atms are accessible there and they just make it so easy to just go and dump all your life savings and i don't have any more money and my wife my wife's boyfriend <laughs> Which is fucking crazy. Is that that can't be an ox? Is that an oxymoron? Like I'm not much of an English nigga, but your wife's boyfriend. You said what, gang? But he said his wife's boyfriend got her pregnant, and then the nigga got locked up. <laughs> and then I went and got locked up. Every night I dripped, I broke out head ass nigga. <laughs> I did I did it. So I guess the wife boyfriend gets sent to the pen, right? And now he say he he's gonna be the one that has to take care of the kid. So Vegas put him in a shitty situation because they let him spend all his money. And I was only talking so crazy about the nigga at the beginning because it's like stupid ass nigga. That's the point. That's like. And again, I know that he had a meeting in a casino, but ain't the point of casinos to hold on? Let me turn the volume up because I don't know. If, I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can barely hear this shit. But ain't the fucking point of casinos to gamble, nigga? Like, what else do you do in a casino? And I get that you could have meetings there, but it ain't like church to where, like, nigga, it could be a funeral, it could be Sunday session, it could be, you could, I think, low-key, you could probably have somebody's birthday in a church if you really wanted to. You could get married there, like, there's multiple uses for a church. It's not, like, crazy amount, but you could do multiple shit with a church. Low-key, you could do multiple shit with a fucking water park. But a casino is to gamble, nigga. What the fuck you think they got these big ass slot machines and slot tables and ATMs around for? What the fuck? And uh, be, look, I've never been to a casino, right? But he's saying that they're feeding you drinks. I don't do. Are do they really just walk up on you with drinks, or do you have to pay for it? Because I would assume that you would have to pay for a drink. Now, I have, I've been to like um. Dave and Buster's and shit, and they got a bar there, and they ask you when you go get a drink, yo, do you want to keep your tab open? Because I was there, um, I was there on my unk, and he got like a, I think he got like a Long Island iced tea or some shit like that. I got root beer, and they asked the nigga, do you want to keep your tab open? So, if the casino, if the point of the casino is spending money, and bars in general would just ask you, do you want to keep your tab open? Is there something to the fact that they're feeding you alcohol to get you drunk, to get you to spend money? Yes, but that's the point. Nigga, like, you know that boondocks meme where it's like, you don't have to ask for it. Nigga, it comes with the service. Nigga, it come with the service. Stupid ass fuck face, nigga. Like, I just be so surprised that it's really niggas on this earth that just, like, don't have, like, and I don't want to say street smarts, but, like, don't have, like, common sense. What the fuck else are you going to a casino for? That's like me getting mad if I walk into a fucking subway, right? And I'm like, no, nah, yo, y'all make it too easy to buy food in this bitch. The stupid ass nigga at the front asking me what type of bread do I want. Y'all got all type of options and shit. The garlic parmesan bread sound kind of nice. He asking me how much do I, how much meat did I want on the sub? Nigga, I'm like, just pile that bitch on. I didn't know it was going to end up being $100. And then the cute bitch at the front asking me do I want cookies. I can't look chump. Give me the whole rack. And I want an extra large soda, bitch fuck wrong with you no napkins though i'll lick my fingers nigga shout out to hot damn my rock and then you get mad because you're just like oh y'all just had me spend all my money on that's the point nigga you come to this bitch to buy sandwiches what the fuck i walk in subway like yo where the fucking hot dogs at y'all don't got no motherfucking glizzies on the menu nigga where the burgers at fuck wrong with y'all it's just a whole bunch of sandwiches what's this this is this is a big stupid ass deli <laughs> Nigga start cursing the subway out. Nigga start cursing the subway employees out. This what this a big dumbass deli? All y'all niggas got his lunch meat in this bitch? I can make a sandwich at my fucking house. Then like then don't come to subway. You feel me? That shit is just I don't know. 
So I and I don't know if he was suing, but I think he was trying to like get his money back or something like that. But like my nigga, not for nothing. Like one, that's the point. Like they're they're trying to get you drunk to get you to spend more money. And nigga, you're there to spend money. What are you in the casino for? They shouldn't even have to get you drunk to get you to gamble. What the fuck are you in the casino for? Now again, I get that you could have business meetings in a casino, but. What type of, and I, I don't know, right? I'm not qualified to speak on shit like this, but what the fuck type of business meeting are you having in a casino, nigga? You think the niggas at Google are meeting in casinos about Google stocks? Or are they, and if they are, it's probably because they want to talk about the stocks and gamble. Like, hey, how you mad at us because we did our job, nigga? All, you, you gonna make, like, you talk about you need the money because you're a bitch fucking somebody. <laughs> let me, let me not say that. Let me not, let me not just speak. Speaking all loose on the internet, that's crazy. But like, come on, my nigga, talk about some you need the money because you're real. Like your wife got pregnant, and now you you first is she like what's is your wife going to jail too? Why the fuck she can't take care of the baby? And you don't have to take care of the kid. That's like that's first of all, you don't have to take care of the kid. Just like you didn't have to spend your money. Just like you didn't have to get drinks. Just like you don't have to be in front of this bore wasting our time. But I guess that's why I'm not in Congress. Because I be talking crazy. You alright? Is he gone? Not quite. Hey, yo, bro, the nigga said they make the ATMs too easy to get money. That's what an ATM is for, my nigga. What, what are you gonna say? Like, you wanna say how you do like a capture? Like, yo, prove you're a human being before I let you take out nigga this $20? <laughs> hey, hey. Stupid nigga, <laughs> pick three. Hey, select three bicycle pictures, <laughs> so I know you a human being, so you could take out this fucking forty bucks to go lose it at the casino. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm talking shit. Like I hope he get back on his feet, but like that's not our fault, bro. We did our job. No. Back to hell. I don't be at the casino, but that's because I don't get. And the other, and the, you know what, the second one isn't even really funny. Well, they're both not funny. Hold on, let me stop talking during this cutscene. I'm gonna tell y'all about the second one and then we're gonna get off though. Enjoy it, old friend. Shall we finish that date? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see, and I don't like, oh, I mean, I guess, I can't, let me not say I don't like this ending, because everybody, this is, I guess this is after the main story, because everybody keeps saying that he's a cop, so, if this is just how Wade's story ends, then I guess that makes a lot of sense. Well, I don't want to say it makes a lot of sense, but it isn't, like, you feel me? But, um, the second one, the second one isn't funny either, let me be clear. So people getting their cars broken into isn't funny. I just, the headline, I guess... I seen that, I, and I, I'm actually, you know what? No, I'm not even gonna speak about it. And you probably knew where I was going because of, I said people getting their cars broken into. But I want to do a little bit more research on this before I come in here with a joke. Because, well, I guess I could just tell you the headline that I read, and I only read the headline, so I'm not reporting on this. But, and I, I want to snitch to say where I read it from too, but I'm not gonna be a rat. But <laughs> the headline that I read was um, the city of Milwaukee is suing Kia for the recent car thefts. And my thing is, right, I don't know that much about, I mean, I say this all the time, I don't know that much about the world. But if this is like some some city, like, you know, well, I, I don't know if cities have their own Congress, but you get what I'm trying to say. If this is like some, like some, the city of, and I know that's what the headline says, but I'm saying if this is, if this is like, if this is, a, if this, if this, I'm stuttering like shit. <laughs> I'm stuttering like shit. And I'm saying if this is like the people that make the laws or whoever, like the mayor or something like that, or like the state of, in conjunction with the city of, or you know what I'm trying to say? If it's some shit like that and they're suing Kia, then that makes sense to me. But if it's a class action lawsuit, I don't really think that. Low key, I don't even really think that they, that the people in Milwaukee can sue. I mean, they can sue, but I guess what I'm saying is it would make more sense if it was a class action lawsuit. Like, a bunch of people came together and decided to sue Kia over the negligence. But if it's just the city, my nigga, you can't, you can't sue us because a bunch of niggas in your city like to steal shit. <laughs> and 
I'm not laughing. I'm. It's not funny, right? People getting their cars broke. People getting anything taken from them. I'm like, obviously, and if you don't, if you don't know, because I know that obviously not that many people on this bitch know me. It's the internet, but I'm never with people stealing. I'm never with thefts. I'm never with stick ups, robberies. I'm not with none of that shit. I say keep your head on the swivel, cause it's it's ugly out here. I don't want nothing happening to fucking nobody, cause I wouldn't want nothing to happen to me. Like. I live my life by the golden rule. Treat others how you would want to be treated. And I wouldn't want nobody wishing them type of situations on me. So I wouldn't want... Obviously, I'm not laughing at people getting their cars broken into. But if it's a class action lawsuit, like the people that are actually getting their cars broken into makes sense. But if it's the city of Milwaukee, nigga, you can't sue me because y'all got... Because y'all niggas raising a bunch of fucking thieves. And then at that, right, I get the car theft thing. But if it's... If it's like them, you can't, if it's the reckless driving, you really can't sue Kia for that. Cause it ain't, they, they not, nigga, you, have you seen some of them videos? Them niggas literally, hold on, hold, look, I got a car right here. Look, them nigga, them niggas be in the videos, them niggas be in the videos doing shit, doing this. Literally doing this on the street, like this. In and out of lanes and shit, but I'm talking like you see how I'm like going back and forth. That's what they be doing. They be driving on the sidewalks. Everything I'm doing is some shit a Kia boy would do. Like how I get around in the fucking video game. That's how these niggas get around the world. <laughs> and you go sue us. Now, again, if it's a class action lawsuit, it makes all the sense in the world. These people are getting their cars broken into. You need to do something. You need to do something about that. That's fucked up. This shouldn't just be a thing to where it's happened, to where it's just a known trend. And these niggas are calling themselves the fucking Kia boys because they're breaking into Kias. But if it's the city of Milwaukee and they're suing for, like, the damages that these Kias have done and, like, you feel me? Then that's fucked up to me. Because, one, I don't feel like they're going to give that money back to the people that it really needs to that it really needs to uh, be given to. And, two, it's not our fault that these niggas like to steal. They from y'all city. What the fuck? Arrest them. <laughs> Lock him the fuck up. You gonna you gonna you gonna knock on my door cause that little nigga stole something. You better send his ass to the to the motherfucking slammer. <clears throat> fuck you talking about. You wanna you wanna come on somebody's property and steal their car. Now you in jail. <laughs> you feel me? But alright, I'm done talking shit. I'm gonna be back at you niggas. Um I'm gonna probably upload this Sunday, so I'm gonna be back at you niggas Monday with Watch Dogs 2, hopefully. Because if the audio doesn't work again, then I don't know. We might just be SOL. But if it do work, then we Gucci. I'm going to be back at you niggas. Well, if it, you'll know if it works because you're going to be seeing this or not. And then if it, if you see this, then I'm back at you tomorrow with Watch Dogs 1. Um, Y'all niggas, be safe. Keep your head on the swivel. Tell the people that you love that you love them. Go get some money. Um, Go listen to... Go listen to uh, Get Off My Dick by V's. It's, it's just called G-O-M-D, but that stands for Get Off My Dick. Um, go watch go watch one of the Spider-Man movies. Literally any one of them. I, and low-key, this might be a, kind of a hot take, but I don't even really think that The Amazing Spider-Man, the movies with uh, Andrew Garfield, I don't think those are as bad as people be making them out to be. I know that they're not, obviously, they're not the ones with Tobey Maguire, but that's that's kind of the point. It's a, it's a whole different nigga. Like, it's not. I don't think those are that bad. So literally any Spider-Man movie you can find, go watch it because they're all good ones. Um, and yeah, tell the people that you love that you love them. Um, I'm gonna be back with you niggas later, man. I love y'all, OSG. I'm out this bitch. Y'all niggas stay safe. Beat be the motherfucker easy.